Good evening, teacher. Woo! On time. Yeah, you made it on time. Yes. How's your husband doing? He, very good. Thanks, God. He's he's uh, getting better, getting better, and getting better. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, teacher? I'm doing great. Actually, I'm happy because tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna go to Lago de Cuatepeque tomorrow. Oh, very yeah. good. <laughs> and, and we're gonna stay there. We're gonna sleep uh, oh. with the with the kids. So most likely at night we're going to fish. <gasps> very nice. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I'm, I'm planning, I'm planning to tell them spooky stories. Hey, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the others? Hmm? And the others? What? I don't the, know. The class? class I don't know what are the others. The others is that's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? The others? Nicole Kidman? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, Here comes Martha. Over there. Today is uh, Santa Marta's Day. Oh, <laughs> Santa Marta's Day. Yeah, it is. Oh, well. Hold on. Let me see. Miguel uh, yeah, Santa Marta de los Imposibles. Patrona de las cocineras y amas de casa. So, Marta, <laughs> congratulations on your holiday. Yeah, that's a holiday. Martha, Ruth, welcome. Hi, Miguel. Hi, teacher. How's it going? Hi. Uh, everything is okay. Hi, Marta. Today is your holiday. Santa Marta de los Imposibles. <laughs> I will listen. I will. I was listening. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys. So, yeah, Miguel, what's up? Everything is okay. I awesome. have a relaxed day. Hmm. Okay. So, let's start with some random questions, okay? okay? Let me let me go with showing and then you practice and then you tell me, okay? So, okay. first question. What do you do last weekend? What do you do last weekend? Listen. What, what did, did you do? What did weekend? you do? Uh, uh, what do you do? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do last weekend? Uh, what do let, you do last let weekend? me think. Um, well, last weekend I went to Acapulco with some friends. We slept there. You know, we stood at at a very nice hotel uh, called Four Seasons. And um, we spent the night, Saturday night there. Um, we went to a casino nearby the hotel. We had some drinks. At night, we wanted to be together, you know, because we're very friends. We were five. So we stood on the same room. We played some movies, you know, Two of my friends were with their girlfriends. Um, next day in the morning, I woke up very early because I wanted to run, you know, on the beach. And I met this beautiful woman. Her name was Vicky. And she was amazing. And I spent the day in Acapulco Beach, you know, talking, having fun, swimming. It was nice. That's my last weekend. What about you? It's for real or yes? <laughs> I just made yeah, it. Yeah, it's up. a true story. <laughs> I wish. Mm. I wish. <laughs> okay. So, what do you do last weekend? Let me imagine something. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't say imagine. Try to say, let me picture something. Let me let, picture something. Uh, let me. Let you can. Me you can use picture. picture. Let me. Let me picture it. Let me picture something. Let me make. And what is the meaning? To make up. Uh, In Spanish. To, to picture something. Estás ocupando mm -hmm. sinónimos para imaginarse. Let me picture it. Let me picture it. 
Man, y una buena expresión. Hey, just picture it. Just picture it. You're in the mm. beach. Okay. Along with your, you know, girlfriend and yeah, just picture it. Oh, but mm -hmm. teacher, I don't know what to say. Okay, make it up. Make it up. Don't say. I'm um, sorry. Don't say. Um, imagine it. Don't say imagine it. Okay. Say make it up. Make it up. Make it up. Sorry. Yeah. Figure it out. No. Oh, perfect. I was thinking about figure figuring it out. out. Yes, too. To figure, figure something out. out. Figure. Figure out. Now, these are, okay. if you notice, these are separable. Separable. Repeat. Separable. 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 Phrasal verbs. So you, you can separable. Yeah, you you do. You can Personal separate. Verb. You can separate the verb and the preposition. Okay. Figure it out. 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 There you go. Figure it out. Come on, figure it out. It's like I imagine. Esto es más de cifrarlo, imaginártelo, yeah, ¿ah? Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Make it up, right? Figure it out. Just picture Make it. it up is, is the same for imagine and the figure out? Mm -hmm. All of those are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Synonyms. But in the end, come on. Come up with something. Come on, come up with something. Yeah. You got to come up. Listen, you gotta, with. you gotta, you gotta come up with something. Tenés que salir con algo. You gotta come up with something. Come up you with, are. come up with is la, is a, is a sort of Come on, yeah? you, you gotta come up with something, yes. Yeah, yeah. Tenés que Imagine soltar algo. Idea. Uh -huh. yeah. Whatever you, you do, you yeah, just yeah. do it. Do something, okay. So, what did you do last weekend? Stop writing, just talk. <laughs> I went to the beach, teacher, really? with my family. Which yes. beach? Um, uh, nearby Costa del Sol. Mm. I think it's Los Blancos Beach. Oh my God! Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Was it was it nice? Yeah, but only for uh, a day trip. Um, only for the day? Just Why for, can I say? Just Why? for the day? <laughs> just for the day. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Why? Why just for the day? Because <laughs> um, we had to lie <laughs> to go to the beach. <laughs> Sorry, you mm -hmm. had to dive? Lie. Wow. No, lie. Like to saying lie. lies. Oh my uh -huh. God, who did you lie to, your parents? No, no, to my uh, boss. <gasps> oh my uh -huh. God, Martha, be, <laughs> behave. <laughs> and the boss is in the class Yes. <laughs> uh, I say to I, him. I told him. I told him, uh -huh. I told him that I went to the doctor. <gasps> how uh -huh. dare you, Martha? <laughs> everybody, 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 how dare you? Yeah, how <laughs> dare you? Hey, how dare you? How dare you? That's an expression. Hey, how dare you? Really? Okay, but mm -hmm. did you have did you have fun? Yes, a lot of fun. The, the, those are like the best, the best escapes, right? The best trips. Those are the best yes. trips when you lie a little bit <laughs> with your friends. Yeah, when I you, lie when too you, much. When you improvise, when you improvise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. Hmm. We're still waiting for Sandrita to answer the question. What did you do last weekend? Um, I, I'm actually good. <laughs> okay, may, may I begin? May I begin? Yes, please. 
Okay, last week and I went to Switzerland and I've uh, and I could lastly live in the nicest weather I've ever been swept on ever. The most important and different was the way to be transported from a village from a village to the mountains. Sometimes by cable car and sometimes by I, I don't know how to say tramvia. <laughs> a, a car truck. A car truck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, because over there uh, and also they they used to um to lend us uh, some bicycles. Uh, because over there, uh, cars, there, there's no cars at all. There are no cars at all? Where? There aren't, there aren't no cars at all. There but, aren't, no, there aren't any cars. There aren't there cars. There aren't any cars, and there aren't any Okay. Cars. That's really? why, that's why the air is so pure, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I wish I, it, it could be true. This could be true, but <laughs> any day. <laughs> okay, one more person to, to answer. Or you know what? Let me change the question. Let me change the question. Let's see how many. No, 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 no. It's too simple. <laughs> this is too silly. <laughs> Let's go with a silly question for the ladies. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. How would you know if you were in love? Okay, how would you know if you were in love? Let me tell you. It, how will I know if I was in love? Well, you can tell. Listen, well, you can tell when you are in love. I think, because you feel something different in your stomach oh, and you feel like <laughs> butterflies, it's true. Yeah. But but also, also you sense it. You sense it when you when the other person looks at your eyes and, and you you are near to her or to him, it's, it's, there's a connection, it's something so weird. And you start, it's like when you're when you're hungry, right? And you start with this craving, with this craving for sugar, you know, for something. The same craving you feel for that person. You need to call that person at night, or if something happens to you, and you want to tell someone, and you call that person. Yeah. Then is when you know you're in love. What do you think, uh, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> How would you know if you were in love? Well, um, I know when I am, I, I, I were in love. I'm in love uh, when uh, I am anxious to see this person and hoping uh, to to talk with him and um, uh, I like to 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 be all the time with this person excellent yeah it's really weird right okay yeah. Van Halen how will I know how do I know when it's love oh no 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 the name of the song is when it's love Van Halen when it's love you know i didn't notice until i started listening to van halen he sings a lot about about love his songs are are about love van halen no no really no van halen never in my life teacher come on you you have heard van halen but you don't know you didn't know it's van halen have you seen uh adam sandler the weather the wedding singer the yep. wedding singer that's yep. one of my yes, favorite sir. one of my favorite movies yeah that's so very nice movie. yeah the wedding singer that's a nice movie to watch okay one more person let's listen to a guy 
make the question, Janet, to a guy. Um, Daniel. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel, go ahead. How do you know if you were in love? Hello, uh, good evening. Good evening. I, I, I haven't known what that is for a long time. But if I were in love, I would know it from all the connections that exist. But how would you know? But how would you know? It's just a connection? Uh, I have a problem. No, 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 I can uh, hear you. Can you hear me? We okay. can hear you. Okay. Uh, if I were in love, I will know it from all the connections that exist. Hmm. All the connections that exist. You mean you will feel it? You will feel yeah, yeah. a connection? But we, we men, we men feel connections with every woman. That's the problem. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> right, Walter? <laughs> that, that's why we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> I love that phrase. Yeah, that's very common. You know, this only happened to me once in my life. Once in my life. And I was married. I was married already. I, I felt. I felt that connection. That was weird. I mean, I, I met her like 10 years ago. And, and I'm sorry, guys. Uh, there's a lot of noise. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, okay. So 10 years ago, I met her. And the first time I saw this person, it was like, what, what is this, right? Like if I, I had a sister. And then years went by years went by or like Frank Sinatra said time goes by as time goes by that's a beautiful song as time goes by sorry um, and then she went through cancer you know and many things yeah she lost her hair and still I, I was like getting this feeling every time I saw her as a friend, I used to hug her and it was like, what is this, right? There was this weird electricity between us. Yeah, man. Later on, I found out that we were twins. We were twin souls, soulmates, soulmates. That was really weird. And yeah, so, but I was already married, so yeah. Couldn't be. Maybe in the next life. Let's change the topic because I'm going to cry. Let's see. What things are you passionate about? Last question. And this is a very simple question. What things are you passionate about? For example, me, the only thing that I'm currently, I'm currently passionate about is um, my classes. That's all. Just teaching. That's all. I don't know why, but I'm a little bit depressed, you know, because I stopped smoking. So I'm a, I'm a little bit down. Listen, I'm a little bit down. Repeat, I'm a little bit down. I'm a little bit down. A little bit down. I'm a little bit down. I'm a little bit down. There you go. I'm a little, I'm a little, little bit down. Bit down. Bit. This bit, this sounds like bit, bit. Yeah. I'm a little bit down. Down. Now this this means down. down. You can say blue I'm too. I'm a little bit blue. Okay, I'm a little what? bit. Blue. I'm a little bit blue. Blue, blue is negative. Okay, be careful when you oh, say all blue. blue yeah, don't say all blue. All blue. Mm. All blue is negative. It's but... not. It's it's like feeling down. It's okay. like under blue. Yeah. Uh huh. Under the blue yeah. sea right yeah. under the blue sky under the blue sea so um 
so currently I'm a little bit down because I stopped smoking, so it feels weird. Um, I'm trying to motivate myself to feel passionate about music, to feel passionate about my, my Volkswagen and repairing my car. But I don't know. I'm not in the mood. Another one. I'm just not in the mood. Okay. I'm just not in the mood. Okay. Esto lo ocupas cuando haces algo apasionadamente o algo te emociona hacerlo. Y a esa persona con la que la haces, o tu amigo, o tu hermano, o quien sea, o tu novio, lo que sea, te dice, hey, vamos a hacer esta, esta actividad que siempre te emociona, ¿no? Como veamos Netflix, o, o no sé, o vamos a estudiar. Y le dices, nah, no, no me siento de humor, no tengo ganas. I'm just not in the mood. Ok. What's going on? Hey, what's, what's going on? Walter, what's going on? I'm good, great. I feel great. Really? Because I feel yeah. you. I, I feel you down. I see you like. Uh... So far, so good. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> apply yeah, the same. Really, I, apply I, I, the same. I am thing. just not in the mood. I'm not. I'm just not in the mood. Better. I'm just not I'm in the mood. Just, faster, yeah, faster, I'm Walter. Not in the mood. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm just not in the mood. Not in. Not in. Not in. I'm just not in the mood. Better. I'm just not in the mood. There you go. I'm just not in the mood for ice cream. You can add more. I'm just not in the mood to talk to you right now. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm just not in the mood to talk to you right now. Ooh. Be careful. Okay. Bueno, alguien no se siente en el humor para hablar contigo. Okay. Let's go with today's topic, which is our last topic for this module. 821. Okay. Nine minutes. I have nine minutes to explain this to you again. Nah. It's something. Um, let's talk about expectations. Nah. How do we talk about expectations? I hope you watch this video on your platform. The topic is covered in terms of uh, customs. Customs. I guess you're familiar with that joke of Santanecos and San Migueleño. What, what is it in Migueleños? When they are drinking coffee and eating sweet bread, right? Bakery, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm, San, I'm I'm from Santa Ana, right? So anybody here from San Miguel? No, okay. So, okay. <laughs> so that's a custom, you know, to, to how do you say that? Well, yeah. To sink, no, to sink. To sink. To sink your bakery. Uh yeah. Your pastry, I'm sorry, to sing your pastry on the coffee yeah. or to yeah. bite it and then drink a sip of coffee. It's two <laughs> different actions, right? But it's a custom. So custom. When I custom. eat, when I eat coffee, it's my custom. Okay, it's my custom to sing the pastry on the coffee. Delicious. <laughs> but but someone from San Miguel told me that when they drink coffee they oh wait that when you drink coffee you aren't supposed to sink your pastry in your coffee yes you're right <laughs> did you notice what I did I'm applying the two the two forms that we have on the top as simple as that, okay? I'm just applying what is on your chart there. First section, when you visit someone, when you drink coffee, it's the custom to bring a small gift. It's the custom to sink your pastry on the coffee. You aren't supposed to sink your pastry in the coffee, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, does that make sense? Look at the structure, it's very simple. We, we have a when clause, okay? And that's very common, when clause. Una clausula, cuando. Mm -hmm. When you are, and this will sound familiar if you had a grandma, what are you, what are you supposed to do 
when you go to um a stranger's house you know to someone you never to someone else's house someone a house that you've never been to what are you supposed to do when you go to somebody's house for the first time okay we're expected to call first oh my god that's true mm -hmm. you're, you're supposed you're expected to call first and ask if they they can receive you right yeah Man. Yes, now let, on the same <laughs> on the same topic what are you not supposed to do when you go to visit someone for the someone's house what you what aren't you supposed to do if you're going to visit someone Los. Not to be hola, hola, hola. Eduardo, huh? like a surprise. You cannot hear us. Uh, we can hear you. We hear you, Eduardo. Enter to them. Not to. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Jenny. What are you supposed? What are what? you are not supposed what are you not supposed to do what are you not supposed to do when you visit somebody else's house i suppose to not to to enter to the room uh, <gasps> true man it's true not to enter any rooms <laughs> this is the first time if it is, no, even if it is the second or the third time, you, <laughs> and if you are on somebody else's house, not in your house, you cannot go, go into any rooms without permission or without, without, permission. without being invited. Listen, without being invited. Uh, it's very important, guys. Uh, without an invitation, without being invited. That's very important. Now, one thing, uh, just Sandra, the way Sandra said, something that, that I learned as a kid, my grandma told me that um, it is not acceptable to visit someone at, at, at noon, you know, at noon, at lunchtime. Yeah, it is not acceptable to visit people at lunchtime. That is rude. That is an in a, an appropriate, inappropriate. It's totally inappropriate. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. So in the same context, I want to hear about your manners and what customs are you aware of? Because let me think. Um, I've never been to another country, but if you've been to another country, do you know something? Um, my grandma used to tell me, if you visit uh, a poor, a poor, per a poor person, if you visit a poor person, um, their their floors, even if there's no tiles, you know, if there are no tiles in the floor, you will always see everything clean. They sweep, they sweep the the floor. Even if it is if it is just earth floor, you got it. Yeah, that's true. We've... And they offer you they offer you water or coffee, whatever they have. They always offer you something, even food sometimes. <laughs> they're they're very nice. Humble people is very nice. Be, it is not acceptable to to put your elbows over the the table when you eat, for example. Oh, true. Do you know yeah. what? It is not acceptable for some Chinese uh, cultures. If you leave, if you leave your your dish clean, it means that you're still hungry, and you want more. Yes. So you you must leave a piece of food in your dish to show respect, to tell that you are full. 
Did you know that? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> or touch your nose when you eat mm. um, around the table, for example. Really? Oh, touching yeah, your yeah, nose? No, yeah. Is, is, is you, misbehavior? Talk, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. In Korea? In Korea? Who's talking? Hold on. Me? Oh, oh, Janet. Uh -huh. In Korean culture, uh, when you're eating, uh, you if you don't do um, sonidos, when if you're it, eating, uh, that means you're not enjoying your food. You're supposed to make noises? Yeah. Why? Uh, yes. <laughs> I was taught the, the opposite. Listen, I was taught the opposite. Yeah. Man, I never forget. Once I was with my uncle and I was upset. I don't I don't know why I was upset. But this is 1998. I was 16 years old and I had come recently from Santa Ana to San Salvador. So I remember I was upset at lunch and we were eating spaghetti. So I I couldn't no no no. I didn't no, I didn't do that. I didn't sip the the the, the macaroni, no. I made three three consecutive three consecutive sounds with my fork, with my fork on my dish. So he thought he thought that I was doing la vieja, right? With with the fork. <laughs> so oh and I didn't I didn't notice he got upset. <laughs> It was the first time my uncle rest in peace. He How got do you say summer. erupto in English? Oh, you it? cannot burp. 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 Uh, burp. There, I don't know what is the name of the country, but uh, it's, a, it's a good manner. For example, when you finish to eat. Oh, really? When a, you finish yeah. eating. When you finish eating. eating uh, finish eating. Uh, uh -huh. Do a, how do you say it? I don't remember the name. To burp. Uh, well, to burp. It's a good manner. It's of good manners, okay? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my God. So I want to hear you discussing this in small groups. Talk to your classmates. We're we're just, how many are we? We are just 10 tonight. So I'm just going to split you in three groups. And so you can discuss this and other customs. And then just describe them to the class, okay? So we can share them. You got it? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, okay, let's do it. Good, good habits, bad habits, maybe that's what you call it. Hold on, that, that's too little. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Jenny, let's go. Mm. Pass away, yes or no? You're, you're swiggering mm -hmm. other words. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we are sorry for that. Yeah. We are sorry yeah. to hear that. Ah, uh, today is uh, um, here in San Salvador. What? You are in San Salvador Yeah. Now. Yeah. You are in San Salvador. Right now yeah. or, or? Right now. Today? Right oh. now. Right. Oh, around, what part? Around, around Sacamil, Mexicanos. All right. <laughs> yeah. Nice. With your with your wife? Yeah, yeah. Mm. My parents in love living the capital in Mexica, Mexicanos. Oh, very nice. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. No worries. Everything okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, what do you know about some cultures around the world? Well, uh, I I live in in Costa Rica, and a custom of Costa Rica is after you eating, you uh -huh. watch your dish. Uh -huh. The the person that give you a a food uh -huh. is hungry because you watch the volunteer of give a. Uh, food in other time it's a good 
action if you wash your dish oh, after yeah. you eat. <laughs> oh my you God. You only put the dish and it's nice if you only put your dish, but you wash, you are bad because you wash the bone chair of the oh. amphitryon. I don't know how do you say amphitryon. Uh, uh, guest. The guest. The guest. No, no. 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 What do you say, teacher? Hosting. The host. uh -huh. Hosting. Hosting, yeah. Hosting. Host. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, host. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh. And if it is a woman, hostess. Okay. I think that word sounds uh, uh, or have another meaning, teacher. I think host, hot, hostess. Yeah. No, no, hottest. Another, another thing. Yeah. <laughs> another thing. Yeah. <laughs> is is uh, amphitryona. Right? Yeah, yeah, hostess. yeah. Right. Just, okay. just so you don't remember, you don't forget this. It's, it's like waiter and waitress. Yeah, waiter, waiter, and, waiter. waiter. Mm -hmm. and Martha could be a waitress, for example. Yeah. Waitress. Yeah. waitress, and waitress. So this is host, H O S T, host, H O S T, and hostess. H O S T E S S. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. I don't know another. Could you put it down in the chat? Teacher, yep, please. Yep. I was doing Hostess. that. Hostess. Yeah. Hostess, woman, women, okay. sorry. Women. Host, Hostess. men. Ah, uh, okay. All right. That's Hostess. nice. Thank you. Mm, okay, Martha Root. Yes. Can you tell us something about uh, new cultures, you know? Uh, in other countries, I don't know too much, but uh, a good manner that I learned from my father is uh, when you visit some someone, uh, you have you don't have to be picky with the food, or when you are right to the house or uh, any place, uh, you had to greet all the people in the room. Mm -hmm. We have to what? Excuse me. Greet. Ah, greet. Greet. Uh -huh. Say hello. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Say greet. hello. I think not accept acceptable. Do uh, if you go to the kitchen and you open the 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 fridge. The Uh oh. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes, I have two compañeros, but nada. Eh, I do one example, teacher, in uh -huh. my book. I did. I did. <laughs> if someone do a lot of noise when we when we are eating, I think it's a bad behavior behavior wood behavior okay uh -huh. in that case you say when someone makes makes oh, okay. make, uh, yeah, you make noises you don't do noises you make noises makes no, uh, a lot of uh -huh. noises when we when we are eating i think it's about behavior it's about yes. behavior that's right okay and uh, uh casi almost uh, finished to example is when the second someone, example the second example yes this the second example mm -hmm. when someone visit me with a warning yeah yes to teach what happens when someone visits visits <laughs> me visit, with without warning uh huh i suppose to no i suppose okay. mm -hmm. I suppose uh, this person not have time for didn't for have warning. time didn't have time for warning me. Yes. Good. Yeah. For letting me know, for warning me, for uh, let me. Okay. to make me aware. To make me aware. They didn't have time to make me aware. That's another make. way of saying to make me aware. Oh. Okay, teacher. You have a baby. Hmm? Do you have a baby? 
<laughs> no. I heard no, some like I heard like crying, baby crying. Like in the in the street, teacher, and the cats are ah. crazy. <laughs> really? Yes. The cats are crazy. One cat, one cat say, meow, meow. Right. <laughs> Come on, yeah, come on. Yes. Okay, so so Roberto is not answering. No, and the okay. in, in Eduardo, creo. Eduardo was I here. Think. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. but he got disconnected. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me take you with another group. Meanwhile, so we can discuss this topic. Okay. So, sorry, teacher. No, uh, I am driving. Roberto. I am driving. I am driving to my okay. house. Okay, uh, not right a problem. Now. Not a problem, Roberto. I understand. Hold up. <laughs> Janet was coming. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Don't take it. Don't take it. I'm going to bring a milk card here too. I'm with number three right now. Okay. There we go. Okay. A milk card is about to join. We're almost done. Okay, sorry guys, I had to go, but are you ready with your examples? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. In, in Italians, Italians, uh, it's, it's lentejas in the, the last day of the year. What do they do the last day of the year? It's lentejas. They eat lentejas. lentejas? Yes, for for good luck. For, for good, good luck. luck that, oh, on, uh -huh. on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve. La Vispera de Año Nuevo. New Year's Eve. New Year's. New Year's. Uh-huh. So you have Christmas Eve and you have New Year's Eve. This is December 31st. Uh-huh. New Year. Yeah. And you also have Christmas Eve, which is uh, December 24th. Mm -hmm. and then you have Christmas and you have New Year's. <laughs> right? So that Eve means the Vesperas. Really? Lentejas for good luck? Yes. I bet I bet they say the same, right? They they go like lenteja, lenteja is the same in, in English. In lentejas. It's the yes. same name. No, I don't know. Lentejas. Yes. Uh, yeah, I no, I don't know. Never thought about it. But I bet you they, they think the same lentils. Lentils. Lentil. Lentils. Yeah, it sounds looks like the same thing. Lentils. I bet you they say grapes. Grapes. At midnight, for good. Ah, uh, this is a Spain, Spain, in Spain. In Spain, Great. oh, it's a tradition uh, in Spain. Okay, but 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 it's Great. in in Christmas. No, it's in New Year's Eve. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, <laughs> let me take you back so we can play something really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let's play something, okay? Because I heard you speaking a lot about customs. I want you... Okay, I want you <laughs> to describe what you picture that's the name of the game describe what you picture in other words what comes to your mind and i'm sorry i missed the s there describe what you picture the first thing you picture what comes to your mind so the first one the first custom from Eastern culture, it's called the Belkin compliment. The Belkin compliment. <laughs> 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 
What is it? What is what? What do you think is that custom from Eastern culture? Eastern. Okay. Yeah, when someone goes like, <clears throat> yeah, you use eight, and you go like, Ugh. oh, it was like a eructar. Yeah, as yeah. I told you. Yeah. Okay. Well, so the bilking complement is when you eat and the chef, the chef or whoever cooked appreciates your burp. He goes like, oh, yeah. So you like my food. Thank you. <laughs> That's like crazy. El Salvador, like El Salvador. Nah, in El Salvador is something else. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a after, misbehavior. After you drink, uh, it's uh, a uh, misbehavior. Uh huh. Yeah. Next, after you drink a lot of Coca Cola. <laughs> a lot of Coke. Yeah, it happens, right? Uh, hey, next, Sub Saharan, Sub Saharan Africa. Okay, Sub Saharan Africa. Spit to say hello. Spit to say hello. Yeah. What is that? What is it? Uh, when you use a saliva, I don't know how to say saliva. 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 In order to give a handshake. To shake hands. Shake hands. To shake hands. Yeah. And that's part of the movie of saliva. Ice Ventura. That, that's an Ice ah, Ventura. Yeah, mm. Okay. I wanted to show you something and I knew this. I knew this. People from Hindu from India, from India, uh, and those those sides of the world, they do something really strange. So don't shake with the left hand. Don't shake with left hand and don't eat with left hand. Why do you think is that? Uh, uh, they, because... they use that hand to clean your ass, I think. Walter, don't yeah, use that yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, Say yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just explain <laughs> something. There's no toilet paper. Yeah. There's no yeah. toilet paper. Yeah. They are and so you... they are so green with nature that they don't use toilet yeah. paper. So yeah, if you meet a Hindu person. Okay, if you meet a Hindu person, don't use your left hand. Use your right hand to say hello, and, <laughs> and don't eat. Okay. Later. <laughs> I wonder. With the hand. This is cruel. This is cruel. But what do you think happens when somebody only has one hand? <laughs> How do you do if you only have one hand? Well. Yeah. well <laughs> Okay, next. I don't have options. <laughs> oh, look at this. But I, I need you, one of you, to explain me this. Come on. This is very simple. Okay? To tip is to offend. Japan. Give money for a service. Jenny? What? Jenny, Jenny uh -huh. to tip is to offend in Japan. They think, teacher, uh, I don't need your money. Hmm. Hmm. How do you say orgulloso in English? Proud. Mm. Oh. So they're very Carrie. proud. Carrie. Okay. Car Come again, Martha, Carrie. No, you, you actually Carrie. say. Uh, Can you type Carrie. it on the chat, please? Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. Oh, they take it as charity. <laughs> They think you're doing charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're so proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they, they're so proud. Mm. They, Teacher. They don't like that. Proud is, is in the in, in a good sense, I, I suppose. Yeah, yeah but pride, pride, right? Some, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to say like in a bad in a bad way, you know. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? In bad way. In a bad it, way, huh? Stuck. Stuck. <laughs> I always forget that word. Okay. 
Superb. Arrogant. Arrogant. Mm, arrogant. Rightful. Superb. Take yeah, off the many, take many. off the the shoes. Take off the shoes in in oh when you walk in. A, yeah, when when you enter to the house. When you get into a house, when you enter a house, take mm -hmm. off your shoes. It's true. Okay. Uh, Japanese or Chinese culture, or Korean culture, I think. A Korean culture. I'll send yeah. you. Yeah. I, I'll send you a link that I just found. I have 12, 12 manners. Look at the next one. Never show the sole of your shoe. This is the Arabic culture. You may remember an incident involving former Never president show. George Bush in which all oh, the letter through his shoe at Dubia. Okay, I'll send you this link so you can go through all of these different manners because this is interesting. Showing someone, showing someone the sole of your shoe is highly insulting. Okay, oh my God. be it sitting with one foot perched on your knee or reclining with your feet facing your host. The shoe is considered unclean, especially the sole, which is why it must, it must be removed before entering places. Oh, listen, Jenny, that's why you have to remove the shoes because it is an insult to show the sole of your foot, you know, the sole of your shoe to your host to your host. Okay, what is host? Amphitryon. And what is hostess? Amphitryon. Ah, good. Yeah, you got it right, good. Okay, this, this is actually very useful things, but what is, I, I want you to tell me what is the main thing that you have in your root, you know, what did, what were you raised with? What were you raised with? You got me? A custom, a custom that was given to you by your father, your mother, or your grandma, something that you never do anywhere you go. For example, me, I, I, I'm afraid of going to someone else's house and taking something that is not mine, something that is not mine, even if it is a coin, and you know, a, 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 ding, a dime, I don't take it. I'm very careful with that. I don't know. COVID teacher. <laughs> <laughs> wash my hand before to eat. It's a good Bef manner. Wash my hands before <laughs> eating. Eating, sorry. That's true. Okay. Someone else? When, um, when the people, is, uh, I don't know how to say, estornudo? Sneeze. Sneeze. Sneeze, you say, bless you. Yeah. You must reply, was, bless you. Hmm? Sorry, I was too afraid to answer to my mom when she was calling me. <laughs> how? How come? I'm sorry. When your mother used to go like, Janet, Janet. Uh, no, what? when when she uh, was uh, saying me something that she think I'm I'll uh, I was do uh, incorrect incorrect, and she 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 was tell me uh, you do this and this and this thing and you don't have uh, uh, to do it and. If you, if I was to say, but I I do it because uh, she said you don't you never uh, need to answer me or you're never okay you were not allowed to reply back yeah you were not allowed to reply I'm sorry you were not allowed to reply you had to stay quiet. I mean that that's a good that's a that's something good in some way, you know. And now as an adult, do you do it with your husband, your significant other, or me? I don't know with other people. 
but uh, I I felt it uh, a little bit um, oppressive. Oppressive because sometimes I I need to 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 explain my my a point my, of view point my point of view yeah that's true it's difficult but it's good because you let the other person vent and that's important when you're in a when you are arguing I hope you understand this guys when you're arguing with someone you need to let the other person vent. Just let them vent. Do you understand the two words? Argue, vent. Yeah. Okay. Argue is like it's fight. like a discuss. It's a discussion. Uh, it's a discussion without without fist. Yeah. yeah. If there are fists involved, that's a fight. Yeah. If there are it's feet, only verbal nails involved, that's a fight. Okay. okay. <laughs> if there's if there's hair involved, that's a fight. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Arguing with someone is just words. And vent is how give me a synonym for vent. Oh my god. Vent. Teacher. May I? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I was single, I never pretend to steal a husband to anybody because my mother used to tell me. Don't steal another's husband because when you get your yours, you will not like that another steal you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Those were tying techniques. Fueron, eran, eran, ¿Cómo se dice? Técnicas de, ama técnica de amarre. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah and i of course i paid attention to her thank god and you got a good <laughs> husband i can tell that's good okay okay well Martha, the, it's raining right ben, okay, so who is like, who is ben? Ben? uh-huh ben? Uh -huh. release it's like the, a kind of escape Mm. Uh, 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 kind of uh, release stress. Release stress. When you and this is very important in the call center industry. You know why I'm an awesome agent taking calls, no matter where I go. If I'm on customer service, I'm awesome on customer service because I I do this. Hi, my name is Rafael. How can I help you? And they go like, your company sucks, and you're out. Of Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you, and you hear this. You just you just hear this on the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, you better sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when they do this. Okay, sir. I'm so sorry to hear that this is happening to you. Let me help you. Don't worry. You reached me, so I got the solution. Let's work this together. Okay, so you you you'll be fine right now. Okay, can I have your account number? Yeah, my account number is okay. I see the phone. Oh, two minutes, two three minutes. Okay. Oh my God. So that was a problem. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and they never they never well rattly rattly a gringo goes like. I'm so sorry, you know, it's not with you, it's just your company. Mm -mm. It, that's okay. It's not on you. Just keep that in mind in life. It's not it's not on you. It's not your fault. Man, but as a veces si te digo, ya me han calentado las orejas por una hora. One hour. Oh my god. Yeah, he tenido llamadas de dos, dos horas de hecho en mi vida, en los dieciséis, dieciséis años de call center. La mejor llamada que tuve fue en la aerolínea, duró dos horas. ¿Y sabes por qué era? Un redneck a los uh, tejanos, se le llama redneck. Eh, no sé si lo sabían. O sea, sí. de, de esos americanos cheles, pelones, que tienen rojo todo el humo, de tanto sol. Ya, sí sabía que pero, lo llaman redneck, pero también con un contexto racista. Con un contexto racista por el color, pero más que todo es porque cuando se enojan, men. Cuando uh, se they flush. Mira, ¿sabe por qué estaba enojado el señor? Y pasó dos horas conmigo por molestar. Solo porque no podía ocupar la computadora prácticamente, pero yo no le podía decirme el problema está entre, entre el monitor y la silla. 
<risa> Men, dos horas oyéndolo decir, mira, eh, ya ocupé el usuario este, no me funciona, yo ocupé una contraseña diferente, no me sirve. Quería imprimir, quería imprimir su wording pass en línea. Y el, el vuelo salía en siete horas. Para cuando ah. terminamos, faltaban cinco horas para su vuelo. El señor, el señor burro, burro, que, ¿cuál, ¿cuál quiere que sea su, su usuario? Y me decía f u c k u s Airways, o sea, ya, yeah. ¿eh? Una mala palabra, la aerolínea. ¿Cuál quiere que sea su...? Y, y yo le decía, ya está tomado ese usuario. Por supuesto que está tomado. Ya. <risa> Me, no se me olvida, mira, dos horas. ¿Sabes? Después de las dos horas que logré solventar el problema técnico que tenía. Y por cierto, esto era a las dos de la mañana. Te estoy hablando del 2007 más o menos. Yo estaba en el graveyard, en, la, en el horario de, le llaman el horario de cementerio. Entraba a las 12, salía a las... <risa> Entraba a las 12, salía a las 8 y media, 9 de la mañana, llegaba a la casa, me acostaba, vivía solo, me acostaba a las 10 más o menos, después de haberme comido 5 pupusas y un chocolate o un café, y me levantaba hasta las 5 de la tarde o 7, a cenar pupusas usualmente, porque vivía solo. <risa> Terminé con hígado graso por un año, pero logré pagar la casa en la que vivía. O sea, bien, <risa> mira, o sea, otro rollo. Bueno, el punto es de que dos horas, y después de las dos horas me dijo, bien bravo, yo te quiero decir algo yo. Son la persona más tú que he conocido. Me has dejado que abierto. O sea, como decimos en salvadoreño, ¿verdad? son más. ¿verdad? Ajá. Puh, chica, no lo puedo creer. En pocas palabras, eso me dijo. Me has aguantado dos horas y te he tirado todo, mi, todo mi veneno. Son bárbaros. Seguía así, me dijo. Seguía así. Vote de carajo, mi amigo. Vote de carajo. Porque los bandidos vienen con pistolas y ganadoras. No, no, no. Sandra, no. Sí tenía un amigo que hablaba así, Sandra. Hablaba de Spanglish y se le salía el Spanglish cuando se enojaba con los clientes. Pero en ese tiempo de call centers todavía los supervisores eran bien nice y le decían a la gente. Le gritaban porque antes... No sé si todavía se ocupa de eso, pero había una isla en medio de los, de los cubículos, ¿ya? Y desde ahí estaba el, el jefe del piso, gritando, Roberto, deje de maltratar al cliente. Raúl, ¿cuál que se llama? Y el, y el, el jefe del piso era, se le colaba el agua, pero me han matado de chiste esos tiempos. Quería pasar un minuto con ustedes, ya me pasa, no importa. ¿Saben quién era mi compañero en el call center ese? Tal eh, vez se acuerdan, Chalillo. Oh, sí, 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 se murió. Carlos, eh, Ricardo, era, era otro rollo en ese tipo. Ay, no. Me decía to, Tomasita, me decía a mí. Mi, mi nickname, o sea, mi nickname, mi, mi apodo de la aerolínea era Tom. Tom. Ok, y él llegaba, hola Tomasita, ya vengo, me decía. Pero esa era la diversión de todos los días, era, era increíble. Yo sí me puse triste cuando se murió el jodido porque era bien buena onda, a pesar de ser como era, una persona que te animaba así, en tres segundos ya estaba matándote el chiste con él. Así como con Atenchis, así en la vida real. Te quejaba de todo, eso sí. Pero, pero mataba el chiste, de veras. Bueno, chicos, disfruten la vida. Aquí les dije, no sé si les dije Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem. No. no. Tarea. Carpe Diem. Siempre se me olvida cómo se escribe eso. Algo así. Carpe Diem. Búsquenlo. Hey, ¿cómo, fue? ¿Cómo fue, Daniel? Vivir la vida o lo que venga. Disfruta el día. Robin Williams, Robin Williams lo dijo en una película y se volvió viral esa onda eh, ya, yeah. so, disfruten el día, hagan de su vida, que todos los días sean increíbles, por pequeño que sea el momento, disfruten, ok Good. take care thank you for everything thank you, Sandra thank you, Sandra happy birthday for you thank you, you're amazing thank you, you're amazing thank you so much thank you, good night, take care Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B